Good morning, guys. I'm just taking my coffee right now, but today is the premiere of a legion and i absolutely adore the divergent series so i'm super excited for that we're going to the imax we've already got our tickets booked don't mind the mess on my counter i still have to figure out what i'm going to do with that i just haven't had time to look up like what i want my like island and countertops to look like yet so i've just like left it there today i have a lot of editing to do i really have to edit my main channel video the thing with vlogging is that i spend a lot of time editing these videos and making the thumbnails and stuff now so i've been editing these videos rather than um editing my main channel video which i have to figure out a better system to do this i think i'm gonna have to teach sebastian how to start editing so it's a little bit later now and I'm going to make my dog an egg. It probably seems weird that I cook my dog egg so much. I actually make him an egg every single day. I talked about this with my vet. She said it's completely fine and that there's actually a lot of people that make eggs for their dogs. But the reason I do it is because my dog is a very, very fussy eater. He has always hated his dog food. So I have a little trick where if I feed him an egg earlier on in the day, he actually wants his dog food later on. Otherwise, he will literally just starve himself. So I make him an egg every single day. But the funny thing is, is he doesn't like the same eggs that I like. I'm very weird about egg yolks. I don't like the way that they taste, but free range is good, so I don't... I don't have a problem with those, but he doesn't like free range. Free range yolks are a lot thicker. So, but for whatever reason, he likes the cheap grocery store eggs. So that's what I get for him. So update time. I've just been editing the whole time. We're gonna get ready in a little bit and go to the movies. So we are in the parkade now. We are leaving to go to the movies. Sebastian's just throwing some garbage away. We checked the reviews, which I always like tell myself not to do. If I like, if I really want to see a movie, I always tell myself not to check the reviews because then I just get disappointed. So we checked the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and I really wish I hadn't because I saw that the critics gave it 10% and then the Flickster or Flickr or whatever viewers gave it 50%, which is still not very great. So I'm really hoping we enjoy it. I was so excited all day to see this movie and then Sebastian put in my head that it might not be very good and that's why it didn't sell out right away for the IMAX like pre-buy. Do I even want to go anymore? The truth is we're actually only going because of the snacks. You guys, we were just in the movie theater. Can you hear that? We were watching um, a Legion, and all of a sudden, it's like coming to the end of the movie, it was getting really good, and the fire alarm went off. I don't see or smell anything. Like, do you think someone just pulled it? Maybe, but I just wanted to get outside. Yeah, that was actually really smart that you walked out. I was like, do we, like, I was, I was so like, scared. I'm out of here. The first thing I was thinking was like, grab now, let's go. I don't walk through the whole building to find out what's going on. Yeah. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm so, like, scared. Everyone's outside. Yeah. I was so relaxed. I was like, Ooh. So we are walking around to the front of the building now where we actually parked but that's where the fire trucks went i don't even know if there was an actual fire like we didn't smell or see anything but they told everyone who walked back into the theaters to get out so <laughs> i'm not sure and it's really crappy because we are at the very end we're at the very end of the movie almost like so close and now if we want to see the ending how everything comes together we're gonna have to see it all over again to that point this is a, probably a first for both of us, I guess, hey? Yeah. That was crazy. I was, I was, I was a little bit scared. But they actually let us sit in the dark. There was no light and everyone's kind of panicking. It was very, very dramatic. Sebastian pushed open the emergency exit door and we walked outside, but there was other people that were like walking through the main part of the theater, which weirdly enough, 
it's at the very, very end of the theater, so you have to walk through a long corridor. And usually it's my favorite thing ever to go to the long side of the theater, but in this case, it would have been very, it would have been super <laughs> dangerous. I'm so happy that there was an emergency exit that led outside. So we thought we would give you guys a partial overview of the movie or our reaction, and we haven't discussed this with each other yet. We wanted it to be as candid as possible, so reaction, what did you think? It was okay. <sighs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I loved yeah. it so much. I, th I thought it was good, but there were like so many scenes where it was like really like dragging and I was like, oh, when's something gonna happen? <laughs> I thought it, there could have been a little bit more action in the movie. I really liked it. I was actually really happy because I went into it with the expectation that I wasn't going to like it based off of the reviews and then I was like really like enjoying every minute of it. <laughs> I thought it was really good. Asleep. No, I was just laying on you. Oh, okay. I remember reading this one review online that said something like, oh, you can just really tell that these are just to make a lot of money or something. And I was like, it's not the point with a movie when you make a big movie. <laughs> like, you want to make a lot of money. <laughs> they just made it so that a lot yeah, of people and would was, watch it. Yeah, like, I was like, isn't that what you want out of a movie that lots of people want to see it? I feel like I am the perfect person for all these movies like they design movies like that for me for people who have absolutely no class when it comes to like no taste <laughs> no taste i fall for all the cheap tricks so we're going to end the vlog for tonight we're going to combine this with tomorrow's footage so we will see you guys in the morning good morning guys so i am having a little bit of quinoa salad this is my last little bit so i think we're going to go pick up some more today so i have lunches throughout the week and I'm just actually getting ready because I have a hair appointment in a couple hours. I haven't had a haircut in so long and I need so much taken off. I'm hoping to like maybe do six to eight inches because the ends are just so awful. Like, so I want like all of this taken off, I think. I'm not sure yet, but I do want it to be like really cleaned up. in the store? You we'll come out? You wanna go in the bag? So we're at Costco now to grab the quinoa salad before we go to Christian's hair appointment. Yeah. Oh, this is old hair. Or well, like current hair. <laughs> old hair. <laughs> old hair. <laughs> before the cut. This one? Yeah, this okay. one looks good. Do you think so? Yeah, let's grab it. So we're in the Metro Town Mall now. Um, Christian just got her hair cut. Um, okay. Okay, there we go. This is what it looks like now. We're in pink right now, and I'm just looking for some like workout stuff so that I have some options for like workout attire. Hello. So we just went to Yogan Fruits and got their version of an acai bowl and this is the pina colada one and it's actually so good. I really really like it. It's like nice and light and I don't know if this is like actually true for this size but it said it was only 130 calories. This is where we go to get all of our seafood. Candied salmon is like my absolute favorite thing ever. I absolutely love candied and like jerk salmon. So I couldn't resist when I <laughs> saw they had some at the front. I was like, okay, I'm getting some. It's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to buy this when I lived in Prince Rupert a lot. And I was like so hooked on it. But it is kind of expensive. But it's so addicting. It's so good. You never had it? Not even in Rupert? Mm. So buttery, right? Mm. It's good. No, it's so good. <laughs> no, it's so good. It's so good. It's really good. Can I? Hold on. Mm. Mm, <laughs> it's so, so good. good. Well, there's more here. Come on, we're almost! <laughs> we'll this. So for dinner, we are making some 
salmon, as well as some zucchini, some asparagus, and obviously we're not making all of this, but we're making some of that, and some brown rice. And this is my favorite brown rice because I feel like the Uncle Ben's Bistro kind is way more tender than when I make brown rice. So I like that it's already been parboiled and it's really fast. So dinner is ready and I'm so hungry now. This is the first time we've had salmon in such a long time. Okay guys, so it's super late now, so I'm going to end the vlog here. And I realized I forgot to show you guys a more like a better look at what my hair looks like now. So this is what my hair looks like now. And it actually feels quite a bit shorter than it did before. Cause before it came down to about like here, but only the very ends of it, it was awful. The back looks like this. I've needed a haircut for so long and the reason I didn't get my haircut for so long was because I waited a little bit too long to go in for a haircut like it was about six months and my hair at the ends was like pretty badly damaged and I was afraid of my stylist like getting mad at me for not coming in sooner but then it just kind of completely took over and it got to the point where I was too afraid to get my hair cut because I didn't want to be berated. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and if you'd like to see more of my daily life, then don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye guys.